Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify. Okay, so let's begin. The first energies that I'm looking at is showing to me that some of you could be dealing with a situation where the person that you're involved with, it feels as if their energy is very restless. What I'm picking up is a person that is all over the place. If you want them to do or, you know, be a certain type of individual for you, it feels as if they go against this, right? There's this energy of this person rebelling. And this is a very uh, interesting energy to be the first energy to come up. It feels as if this individual has a stubborn nature and they have their way of doing things. For many of you, you may feel as if, you know, you're coming up against a brick wall because you may have asked or wanted this individual to change. So it feels like you are dealing with a very challenging person, a person that you want to change, a person that you're hoping to improve, but this individual goes off and they do their own things. Now, in some cases, you may have found this individual to be a little bit unstable. Maybe they don't keep their words. They don't keep their promises. They may have disappointed you in a certain light. So I'm definitely picking up a very interesting sort of uh, character that some of you could be dealing with. It feels as if this individual has a set of beliefs and they like to maintain it as such. They don't like to break out of that norm. They have this idea of who they are. They have an idea of their own identity. But, uh, you know, when it comes to other people giving them, you know, some useful criticism or trying to improve them, this person may run off and uh, try to ignore those uh, type of guidances and advice. Right, so I see from these energies here that, you know, this love is something that should be celebrated. Perhaps the two of you are very, you know, unique in terms of your personalities. And when the two of you come together, it makes a very powerful combination. You know, it feels as if two pieces are not whole when they are separate, but they are when they are together, okay? So that's what I'm getting from this particular energy that uh, right now there's a distance between the two of you. Perhaps the two of you are not communicating or not working on this connection as you would like to. So I feel like this individual has ran off and they're doing their own thing, trying to pin them down, trying to get them in a relationship has been very, very difficult for you to achieve. What I'm also seeing is that someone is very egotistical in this situation. You could be dealing with a person that has a lot of pride. They like to do things in their own way. But when it comes to you giving them advice or trying to guide them onto the right path, they may run off and uh, try to avoid that. So let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. First card, it feels like there's a lot of love here between the two of you. Perhaps when the two of you talk in a loving manner and communicate, you know, you can feel this individual's energy that they generally care about you. But I also see uh, that uh, this individual has uh, a tendency to perhaps not respond to your messages on time, or maybe you don't get the type of attention that you want from this individual. You feel as if, you know, they're not making this relationship a priority. They're not standing up for this connection. They're not wanting to move forward in terms of the relationship. And uh, I feel like a lot of you are feeling as if this person doesn't make you a priority. It feels as if they put their needs ahead of yours. And I feel like your patience is uh, running thin for this individual. Yeah. Some of you may have been giving this person opportunities, but they may have been disappointing you. It feels as if there's a lot of, um, you know, unseen elements. Could be making you feel upset that you're trying to get this individual to be more romantic, but maybe they're more focused on their independence or focused on their career, things of that nature. I think your big fear here is that this person is going to disappoint you greatly. 
if they continue behaving this way. For some of you, this person may have left your life. They may have departed. You know, it feels like they may have moved away. You know, something is blocking the connection in respect of this relationship. There's some toxic elements here that are playing havoc. Feels like you've been waiting a long time for this individual to come through for you. And there's a lot of stress regarding this connection. There's a big fear here that they may disappoint you again. And I feel like a lot of you are fearful that, you know, when things really fall apart, it's really going to fall apart in a big way. Yeah, there's a lot of grief here because this individual is withholding love or, you know, just not giving you the type of attention that you desire from them. Let's have a look at the next energy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you don't know what to do because this person has been incredibly silent. You know, it feels like they're not opening up to you in the way that you want them to. This person is definitely holding back or not, uh, you know, revealing much in terms of their energy. And this could be making you feel very, very frustrated and flustered. I see there's a lot of grief surrounding the fact that they're not communicating right now. And it feels as if you're yearning for their love and their attention, but they're not showing it to you. Right, so let's see. Their behavior and actions are making you feel very, very confused, making you feel trapped, making you feel stuck. Yeah, see, there's heartbreak surrounding the fact that this person has become cold, distant, and indifferent. The two of you can't have a proper conversation with each other. This is definitely affecting both you and this person on a very deep level. There's something about your connection that is rooted in destiny. It feels as if it's written in the stars. This is definitely something that's very special in the way that uh, the two of you were brought together, right? But I'm picking up here that there's this uh, imbalance in this connection. Lots of grief. This person is uh, not opening up to you and it's causing a lot of grief. You see there's stagnancy, things not moving forward. Let's see. Yeah, feels as if, as I mentioned before, this person is being very stubborn in their ways. It's like trying to get them to change, trying to get them to see your point of view has been incredibly difficult. It feels as if a lot of you are feeling at a loss for words. You don't know how to, you know, restore this relationship or try to make things work. I'm sensing, yeah, you are missing this person a great deal, but trying to come back together with them hasn't uh, really been as easy as you would have uh, hoped for it to. Because this individual has been so stubborn, we have this energy which is showing up as, you know, causing an emptiness. It's like the cup should be flowing over, right? 
but instead it's uh, getting empty because this individual is draining all of this joy and happiness out of the situation by them being very stubborn right so it's uh, depriving you of stability and happiness it's causing more turmoil in the situation and this individual is not following their heart they're being very cold distant and indifferent lots of ego here right yeah i'm seeing this energy of where Things were going really well and you felt certain that everything would work out in your favor, but then you ended up heartbroken. It feels as if it was going in a good direction and then it all turned upside down because this individual is being so very stubborn. It's like they have a certain way of doing things and they don't want to turn, turn around and see your point of view or your advice. Lots of conflict here. Feels as if this was going on for some time. Yeah. yeah. You see, I see this individual running off and doing their own thing. It's like they're completely oblivious to your needs, your energy, and what you're going through in the situation. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is really too stressed out right now. And that could be holding them back from, uh, you know, doing anything. It's like their freedom is everything right now. And uh, from your energy, I feel like you are picking up this energy of conflict and hostility and feeling as if all is lost and that there isn't any hope here. But this individual feels as if they could be acting very immature right now by not really thinking about the effect that their actions are going to have on this relationship at hand. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. What I'm going to be looking at is what has caused this individual to run off and do their own thing? Is there any way that you can, you know, change this person? What is the right way to approach this individual? Because it feels as if they can be very stubborn. They want to do things in a certain way and trying to convince them or to make them fight for this connection has proven to be difficult in terms of the method you've been choosing to approach the situation with. I'm seeing here as well that um, and this person you're dealing with, this energy of conflict and hostility is definitely coming up. And uh, I'll be exploring what you can do to um, make this individual to reach out to you versus um, holding back, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.